What's going on YouTube? Welcome to my YouTube channel. I've got some mail today. It is the day after President's Day. And uh, I know what three of these items are. One of them is a mystery though. So uh, if we open one up and it's a mystery, it might not even be coin related. So how's everyone doing? How's everyone's week? Still been pretty cold here in Illinois. This feels like a mint set. It is. Garbage can over here. Let's see how this one looks. So we've got American Eagle one ounce proof silver bullion coin. And I just lost the COA. Do not lose the COAs because they're worth about six bucks if you lose one and you need to buy one on eBay like I had to the other day. So a certificate of authenticity. Let's check out the case. Very nice looking case. Doesn't look like it's been out in the open very often. And we've got a gorgeous 2001 West Pointed Mint. We use this little tab here to pull it up. Get a closer look here. A little bit of fog because it's cold outside. So let me uh, put a little elky hull on it. Oh, and when I put alcohol in the capsules, I highly recommend get the highest percentage you can get. There is a store over here that sells 99% alcohol, which is pretty much for electronics, but it doesn't leave like any smears or marks. It looks better. What a beautiful coin. Wow. I never understand the, the resellers on eBay that don't take close-ups of their coins. Like, this one's got nothing to hide, so... Anyways, I'll get that I'll get that listed in the chat. I think these are still going for about eighty-five. Uh, I just noticed this does have some rim toning on the rim itself, but that's fine. That's normal. But beautiful, beautiful coin. Love the American Silver Eagles. I. Uh, Took them all the coin shop, got rid of them all, and then I end up keep buying them. <laughs> I can't stay away. Can you guys stay away from the American Civil Eagle? I heard they're getting more popular now because the premiums have come down. But the uh, proofs, uh, anything like proofy like, uh, those have not gotten more popular. But it's weird. They tend to like kind of go up a little bit as soon as the new proofs come out from the U.S. Mint, and then they kind of die down. Um, all right, let's see what this is. Oh. I know what this is now. I looked at the label. This is my... This is my gift. My gift from Coin Crew. Thank you, Coin Crew. I uh, participated in their 10,000 subscriber giveaway. They're a coin shop out of Mus Muskegonee. Muskegonee? Muscany, Michigan, a uh, couple states over from Illinois, and I actually won this on their wheel. So pretty cool to win a nice $25, $26 free ounce of silver. I did donate a Morgan silver dollar to their giveaway, which so I was automatically um, entered into their contest, but they gave a lot of free stuff away. So very cool. So that'll be nice. Thank you, Coin Crew. Shout out to Angel and Keith. I don't think Keith watches my channel, but I think Angel does. So shout out to Angel. And she also provides me with this beautiful rainbow Coin Crew sticker, which I use to dimplify Morgans and Peace Dollars. So when you're taking pictures of coins, I take pictures like that. <laughs> I know it's silly, but... Most people like use writing or old newspaper. Um, I'd rather use something colorful. So I, I'll take photos like that on both angles of the coin. Not necessarily proof coins because people already know their proofs, but for Morgan silver dollars that have mirror-like finishes, even if one of the finishes or one of the sides is more mirror-like than the other, that's a cool piece to use. <clears throat> I was thinking of using my round, but my sticker, but it's not uh, it's not bright enough. It doesn't 
photograph very well. Um, let's see what this interesting packing job. Let's zoom out. Uh, and silver today is what is silver today? Does anyone care? <laughs> I think it's like under 20, 22 bucks. Gold's like 18, 50 ish. All right. I got some green wise almond cranberry flavored chia bar. So yes, my name is spelled C H A I. And when you spell it wrong, it spells chia. <laughs> uh, no, that's not what's in here. Oh, we're going to have to get the razor out. Got my home Depot tile scraper that I found. What is in here? All right, I'm gonna get rid of this box. That is kind of a cool box to use for shipping. I think I will reuse that. I will repurpose that box. What do we got? Oh, a little French action here. Beautiful. Ooh, ah. Uh, ooh, yeah, this thing is. This thing's cool. That's old. So this is a SD DuPont made in France, Paris, 20 micron, 18 carat, gold plated lighter. And very cool. Let's see if we got some flint action going on here. We'll see if it sparks. Oh, that's frozen. That doesn't move at all. Yep. And sometimes the flints are hiding inside here. Let's take a look. I've got the spring and we're flintless, but sometimes there's a flint hiding underneath. Yep, oh, there it is. People, people who don't know what these are all about, there's always a flint hiding in there. <laughs> free flints, free flints. And now we can install the flint like that. Anyways, I love getting these old lighters and I like taking them apart and doing a little refurbish on them. And it still doesn't spark because I think that's in backwards. Oh, it's sparking. Yeah. Someone installed the wheel backwards. All right. Well, we'll be we'll be taking that apart, filling that with gas. Oh, it does work. There we go. Hmm. Let's see if we can get a live test right now. What do you guys think? Be really cool if all I have to do is fill it with gas. And there was, oh, this is a BR one, so a little special ender there. This is the fluid I like to use. That tip ain't gonna cut it. We're gonna need that. Hold on, what kind of tip is this? Maybe that will work. This is the kind of tip. No, I don't think that's the right tip. We'll give it a shot. Oh, geez, we're leaking. Look at... <laughs> <laughs> Fire! <laughs> well, that was scary. Um, wasn't expecting that to happen. So, 
Yeah, that just happened. That was really scary. So yeah, this lighter is super leaky. And there we got to fix now to chill it out. So yeah, I almost burnt my whole thing down. <laughs> All right, well, that's gonna conclude this video. Now that I almost burnt uh, the thing down, but I'm gonna I'm gonna open up this next one and make it a part two after uh, I kind of clean up, and it, it kind of smells like smoke in here. All right, well, appreciate you guys watching. Please like, share, subscribe. You never know what you might find. Some guy might light his whole display on fire live. Uh, I'm probably not going to edit that out either. All right, you guys have a good one. I'll catch you on the next one. Um, these are my French coins, though, so watch that, part two.